Hi, my name's Brett. I'm the skateboard instructor here at Rush. I've been skateboarding since the summer of 1991 when I was 12 years old. Uh, and I've been teaching on and off since about 2003. Today's uh, tutorial is we've been looking at kick turns. And kick turns are a real basic, simple uh, staple to your skateboarding. A kick turn is something that starts from the top of your body and works its way down. The first thing you do is turn your head, then turn your shoulders, then turn your hips, then turn uh, your, your board. And part, part of the reason you do that is because it, it helps the flow of the movement and secondly, quite obviously, it helps you to look where you're going. You're about to change the direction of your travel. If you don't look where you're going, then you're not going to see what's coming up. The next thing I would probably advise is moving on to a flat bank, if you can. A flat bank makes it a little bit easier to break it down into two turns. Two 90 degree turns. Where you can, you, you can almost settle for a, like a split second on that first 90 degree turn before you turn in again and come back down. Uh, usually when I'm teaching people I try and look at like a three time rule. Don't just, don't, just, don't just do it once, get on it and do it three times. Rep it out, do it over and over and over again until it becomes super, super easy and, and you've got it. Then you might want to move up and, and again you might want to move through the transition of, of, do, of breaking it down into two sections and then, and then moving straight into the one continuous turn. So straight up and you're looking to perform your kick turn at the top of your arc. So don't, don't, don't turn too early as you're still going up the ramp. And if you go up and you're already starting to come back down, just come back down fakey. Don't try and do the turn. If you try and turn as you're coming back down, your weight's all gonna be wrong and you probably won't survive. On a, on a transition ramp, I would advise that you go straight for the 180 in one, in one turn, because it, it's gonna be a bit smoother and it's a bit harder on a transition to stop on the 90 degree. You can do it, some people can get away with it, it is possible, but it's gonna be a little bit more helpful to get on, that, or get on that full 180 turn, just get straight on it. And what I'm also gonna show you is me doing some kick turns on some, on some more challenging areas. So now the, now the trick's rather simple, but the location that I'm doing it on is a little bit more challenging. We've got a nice whippy wall here at Rush that I quite like it's you know it's not amazingly high but it's quite challenging and hard to get onto because it just goes almost straight to vert almost straight away kick turns on those are, are quite challenging because of the the angle at which you go and the, and the you have to take account of the landing and you're right on a steep angle as you go to do the kick turn uh, we've got a really nice wall ride that comes off a flat bank into a wall ride uh, you might notice on that that I barely put my front wheels back down on the on the wall ride section of it because I'm taking account ready for that bank as I come back in. The, the real simple things that I want you to remember is that if you're a beginner, kick turn, start from the top of your body. If you need to break it down, then do so. Turn your head first, turn your shoulders, turn your hips. As you get better, that will all become one movement, but you'll probably still want to turn your head first because you want to look where you're going and look what you're doing. And because your head, you know, it's the heaviest part of your body, where your head goes, the rest of your body goes. So your head's going to dictate what happens. Uh, try and stay nice and upright. Don't lean over too much because that will throw your weight off as well. So we're trying, as always, to keep our weight centered over the top of the skateboard so that we're in control and we're not trying to catch up uh, and, you know, nothing looks sketchy and nothing looks out of balance. As always, get out on your skateboard as much as possible. Do as much practicing as you can. And that's about it. Thank you.